Welcome back to today's day 11 of 12 of our 12 days of beauty at beautybar.com. We are finishing out this series with um, doing a full and complete sculpted face. So the first day was foundation, concealer, powder. The second day was how to do a very light contour. And today we are doing a very basic highlighting. I'm excited about this because once you've done the contour and you can't forget to do the highlighting, otherwise you have just like a bunch of kind of like, <laughs> you have a weird chiseled like, cheekbones and jaw with absolutely no light. So we did the contouring to kind of bring back in some um, some cheekbones and then the jawline right underneath and then right along the hairline. And now we are going to do highlighting. So the products we're gonna use is Kevin Aquan, the Candlelight Celestial Powder. This is like one of my absolute favorite products. I, I use this all the time. Um, I absolutely I love that product. You'll fall in love with it too. It's a great highlighting powder. We're gonna use the Jane Eardell, I don't know what this is even called, of oh, In Touch Highlighter. It's just a really pretty kind of like um, simple highlighter. It's kind of like a little bit more like a stick as opposed to a powder. And then this amazing Jane Eardell fan. This is what we're going to apply the Kevin Aquan with. Um, and then we're going to add in a lip color because we're starting to build up the full look. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so yesterday we took the um, our brush and we did an E shape. So starting at the top of our hairline, under our um, cheekbones, and then down under our jaw. Today we are going to do a C shape from right here to right here with the highlighter. So I'm going to take my Kevin Aquan the Celestial and the fan, just pick up a good amount, and I'm gonna do a C shape. So starting right here, just a nice C. Now, it's probably hard for you to see how well this Celestial powder works, but all that it does, I mean not all it does, it just adds such a beautiful in person, you can see it's just a nice, the perfect amount of highlighter. If you have a highlighting cream, you can use like a stippling um, brush and pick up the cream and do the exact same thing, same C shape, but I really prefer using the powder, so I'm just gonna do a nice C shape. And then I'm also gonna do the same thing right here. So I just wanna pick up a little bit of um, highlighter right underneath my jaw. Now, that's all that you do. It's so simple, right? And we just added a little bit back in. The reason that I'm also gonna use the Jane Eardell is because I like that you can kind of control exactly where it goes. So I'm gonna do just a little bit more right at the top of my, of my brows. Do a little bit underneath the brow area. This is great for after you fill in your eyebrows. And then right along the side of the nose. So we did a little bit of um, a contour there and then right down the top. So this is gonna help a lot in pictures. Remember how we did our red lip? We had a little bit of highlighter to keep its bow? This works well for that too. So this is great. It's really all there is to it. That's how you do highlighting. So now we've had our foundation, our concealer, our powder, and now we're doing a C-shape highlighter. So you start right at the top of the brows and you do a C-shape that ends right, kind of right here underneath your eyes. Kind of draw the C for you so you can see. C, C. So I love these products, it's so simple, right? We're breaking down really easy, and that's how you do highlighter. So now we have contouring, we have highlighter, and now we're going to do the blush and the bronzer as our final step to this look. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. If you have any comments, leave them below. Um, otherwise, I will see you tomorrow to finish off this look and finish off these 12 days of beauty at beautybar.com. Thank you.